I'm making this video for the viewer Emilio. Uh, he asked about a good textbook on Euclidean geometry. Um, so the first one that we got in here is called Elementary Coordinate Geometry. This is the second edition by Maxwell. So coordinates, how to, you know, define coordinates, straight line, um, the circle, the ellipse, the hyperbola, the use of calculus as well. Some typical curves, envelopes, focus, and some, you know, problems on the tangent, etc., etc. This is a super nice textbook, very good quality by Oxford, Oxford Press down there. Plenty of, you know, interesting exercises, mm, some, you know, hard problems down here. You guys can check it out because it's an old textbook. Let's check out, you know, the year, 1952, actually. But, you know, mathematics doesn't change. So this is the first textbook that I would recommend to Emilio. Um, actually, let's take all of these. I have here a background on natural synthetic and algebraic geometry. Well, I was checking this text and it's very strange. They don't use numbers. Um, it's by Room, actually, all right, from in, in Australia. He's from Australia, University of Sydney. And the edition is by Cambridge at the University Press, 1967. Geometry without numbers. It's just, you know, abstract definitions on, you know, parallels, a, what's, you know, a set of points, separation axioms and stuff like that. Um, geometry and counting here. And then we have geometry and algebra. Congruence as well. It's a very strange textbook. See, it's like, you know, some of the older textbooks on logics, mathematical logics, they don't use numbers at all. Um, I think I have a few. I'm going to talk about those in a, a future video. The next one is by Howard Eaves, a survey on geometry. Survey of geometry. And this is a very good textbook, actually. Um... This textbook is on Euclidean geometry. So let's quickly go over the contents. Um, modern elementary geometry down here, cross ratio down there, homographic ranges and pencils, uh, Euclidean constructions, elementary transformations. And then look, projective geometry, this is super interesting. Super, super interesting. Non-Euclidean geometry. The foundations of geometry down here. So it's it's a very, very nice textbook. I believe there's a bunch of problems, yes, scattered around here and there. Harmonic division. It's a very nice textbook on Euclidean geometry. You can check it out, guys. The use of geometry in modeling, so geometric and solid modeling, actually, uh, by Hoffman. Look at this. Um, three levels of abstraction, basic concepts down here. Uh, this is a kind of strange textbook, actually. Boolean, Boolean operations on boundary representation. So I think this is not immediately related to, you know, Euclidean geometry. It's geared toward um, applications of, you know, planar Euclidean geometry, see? Modeling and stuff like that. And let me quickly go over two beautiful, beautiful, actually, textbooks. And the first one is, this is an interesting one. It's a sort of introduction to actually differential geometry. But this textbook treats, you know, the dimension three case. Elementary differential geometry by Barrett O'Neill down there. Calculus on Euclidean space, uh, frame fields, 
Euclidean geometry. So this is what uh, Emilio was asking about. So the derivative orientation, Euclidean geometry, a brief summary down there. Uh, calculus on a surface, very important topic. Mappings on surfaces, integration of differential forms, topological properties of surfaces and shape operators, geometry of surfaces in R3. That's an old notation for R3, the Euclidean space actually. E stands for Euclidean, so R3. And then a little bit about Riemannian geometry. So Gaussian curvature, covariant derivative, geodesics. It's a very, very nice textbook. And this is the, uh, I would say, more visually beautiful textbook out of the bunch here by Smart, James Smart, Modern Geometries. So this is the fourth edition. Uh, look at that. Some fractal geometry down here. The edition is amazing. This edition is really, really beautiful. So look at this. Axioms on finite geometries, uh, four line and four point geometries. So groups of transformations. So this is not exactly Euclidean geometry, but it's a complement to planar geometry actually down here. So you can take it out. Uh, convexity, the notion of convexity, Euclidean geometry of the polygon and circle, some constructions here, the transformation of inversion, and projective geometry again. Super interesting and <clears throat> uh, wonderful topic uh, for sure. Introduction to topological transformation. Introduction to the topology of surfaces. I believe, I do believe they treat, you know, the invariance of... of of a surface. I don't believe they go up to homology groups and stuff like that, but like um, they do, yeah, it's right here. They do visit here Euler, Euler's formula in the special surfaces. And then some non Euclidean geometries down there. A bunch of appendices. So you guys might check it out. You might like to, oops, sorry. Have a look at this wonderful textbook actually. Tons of exercises down there, insightful, homogeneous coordinates um, down there. So the homogeneous coordinates are, you know, the coordinates of a projective space, actually. Well, it would take another video to <laughs> talk about projective geometry, but plenty of wonderful examples down here. Equations for projective transformations. Anyway, so Emilio, these are my recommendations for... Um, Euclidean geometry and also a bit about non-standard geometry. Wonderful choices. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.